In the previous four videos of this course, we have looked at how to prepare the data and how to train a model and then how to deploy the models using different methods, right? Uh, we have trained a classification model uh, to predict uh, the iris flowers. Then we have deployed the model using uh, the SageMaker estimator as well as the model artifacts uh, sitting on S3. We have deployed as an endpoint and we also looked at different methods of inference. For example, one record, multiple records using the endpoints and a local file, multiple records uh, sitting on a CSV file, uh, a, a local CSV file and also a file sitting on S3 then how to create the transformer and finally do the batch transformation, right? Uh, today we are going to look at uh, a jumpstart. Uh, this is one of the most useful capabilities from SageMaker. Uh, what SageMaker did is they have took the pre-built models from various libraries uh, or frameworks such as TensorFlow, uh, PyTorch, Hugging Face, uh, CAD boost, XG boost, uh, uh, etc., etc., and they have made the, all those models uh, easily available to us. Some of those models we can use them uh, uh, directly and make inferences. Uh, this is most often the case in the language and uh, images uh, space, right? For example, uh, there are a number of object detection, image classification, text classification, or text uh, uh, translation models. Now we can access those models, we can deploy those models as endpoint and start using them. There are other set of models, we can uh, even fine tune those models uh, uh, using our own data sets, okay? So we will see all of those in the upcoming, uh, upcoming videos, but today we will see what is Jumpstart and how, what models it has and how we can uh, use them. Uh, okay, all right. So uh, we have covered these libraries in the previous videos. So here we have uh, using uh, this drop down from IPython uh, widgets. So this widgets, uh, it's, it's, it's a Jupyter notebook functionality, which lets us uh, do certain UI based uh, type of things, okay? And as we discussed before, uh, here we are just suppressing uh, the notebook or the SageMaker uh, printing uh, the information which is below the warnings level, okay? Uh, this is just uh, the region. Now, uh, so the jumpstart, it has a file called model manifest it is sitting on uh, uh, AWS own S3 buckets, okay? And this file, they uh, this file is being updated as new models are added to the jumpstart. We are going to just download this file and read the content of the file to see what models uh, are available in the jumpstart, okay? So using the Boto3 client, uh, we are just downloading the file so we have downloaded this file models underscore manifest.json to our local directory and then we open the file okay all right so this models list uh, it contain all the models now as we can see here there are quite a number of models uh, SageMaker has made available to us so there are 2700 models okay so I'm just converting this uh, dictionary or the JSON file uh, to a pandas data frame so that we can uh, easily view the data, okay? So this data has four attributes or columns, the model ID, the version, uh, and then uh, some specifications related to the model, right? Here we are randomly sampling some 20 records uh, out of those, these 2,751, okay? So this model, uh, so it's coming from TensorFlow. This IC means image classification. And then the model, uh, uh, the particular algorithm, it's a mobile net version one uh, and some other specifications, right? It's a classification model, okay? Now, these versions, I guess, okay. This number representing 
this particular uh, model version and then this minimum version i'm not 100 percent sure because this minimum version sometimes it is lower than this current version sometimes uh, it is higher um, okay and then uh, they have some specs saying some community models uh, etc some additional information but we probably need uh, only this information and then uh, the version of the model okay all right so this model coming from hugging face uh, it's a distilled bird so this is a language model um, all right so here we have mx next mx net here we have light gbm model uh, etc etc right but how we can use this model right i mean i mean there are so many uh, models how we can choose uh, 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 a particular model we want right so here what we are doing is we are going through the model list now they have carefully designed this model id so that based on the task we wanted to do we can filter uh, uh, the models uh, related to that particular task for example here ic refers to uh, image classification then this model it's a text to image model so be, given a text prompt it will create images uh, for us okay this is another image classification model spc i am not sure about that uh, now this one is a classification model it's for numerical data uh, okay so today we will just see how to select all the object detection models as well as all the classification image classification models okay so here what we are doing is we are just uh, looping over all the uh, all the uh, records uh, in this data and then we are choosing uh, we are selecting this model id which is this first column and as we just discussed the model ids are these names uh, are carefully designed so that we can select we can uh, filter all the models related to different tasks okay so for the object detection the model id either it will have this hyphen od hyphen or it will have hyphen od number one hyphen okay so we are going over all these uh, model ids which are some 2700 plus and then finding the model ids which has this uh, uh, specific string either this one or this one in their name okay and then we are adding uh, it to a new list called od models all right so the number of od models uh, that's 70 so we already have 70 pre-trained object detection model available in the form of the gem start from SageMaker. so all these 70 models we can use them as it is for making the inferences uh, if you go to the models detail page we will know what are the objects the model has been trained on what it can detect etc uh, etc et all right uh, so we can use if, if the models we want to detect or if the objects we want to detect are already in one of these models then we can start using the model right away but that might not be generally the case we will have our own objects so what we do is we train one of these 70 pre-built models uh, not all of them can be uh, retrained uh, using what is known as transfer learning right so we uh, uh, AWS has a nice documentation uh, uh, we'll see later uh, where we can find out which models we can directly use for inference and which one we can use for transfer learning okay all right so this is the ipython widget uh, the drop down we have created uh, it's a simple ui so it, it just creates this ui for us so here we are just inputting all the uh, 70 uh, model ids uh, as a list and then a default value okay and this one this select a model this is this just string uh, the description string and then these are just about uh, 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 the aesthetics or the ui so the width and uh, some description width etc okay all right so run this cell display uh, that will create uh, or that will render this ipython uh, drop down widget okay so here these are those 70 object detection models okay so 
some of them coming from this MX Nest, a significant of them coming from MX Nest. Then there are PyTorch, uh, TensorFlow. Yeah, I guess most of these models, maybe half of them, are coming from uh, the TensorFlow. So the uh, TensorFlow is a framework, and then, for example, this MobileNet, the efficient, efficient debt, uh, the ResNet, or this RCNN, all these are uh, particular algorithms, right? Uh, different neural networks. Whereas this TensorFlow, MXNet, and PyTorch, those are the frameworks. All right. Then, uh, uh, if we want to choose a particular model, uh, we can choose a model, and then this, uh, then this infer model dropdown a widget which we have created here, we can get the value using this dot value value method. Okay. All right. Uh, let's look uh, look at uh, one more set of models, uh, the image classification models, right? So we are doing exactly the same thing, uh, but it, this time uh, it is this IC for image classification instead of OD and OD1 for object detection, right? Okay. All right, so here we have 162 models. Uh, this makes sense. Uh, image classification is a more common use case uh, than object detection. So here we have about 162 models, uh, well, 162 exact number. And then again, we are creating a widget. And here you can see these are all the uh, image classification models. Again, they are coming from PyTorch, TensorFlow, Yep, PyTorch and TensorFlow, most of these models. All right, again, we can select a specific uh, uh, specific value from it list. Now, either we can have this code integrated into our model training notebooks where we select uh, the model, or we can have it separately. We select a model and then we simply start using this model in our model training notebooks. So we can keep this model uh, selection process separate. Alright, uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much.